Hi everybody, James Manson here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys. So I decided I wanna do another makeup video and I'm actually gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna give you a beautiful look using some cosmetics that I've picked up along the way. So let's get started. All right, first things first, I have to glue down these eyebrows. So I'm gonna use Prosade and I'm gonna take that with a depressor. Don't judge me of how dirty it is. I find the dirtier it is, the easier it applies. So I'm just gonna apply that down and swish it some. Get it under my hair and then flatten it. And we are back. My eyebrows are blocked and now I'm just blending down some color corrector. I use Dirty Peach by Kylie Cosmetics. I know it's a very expensive color corrector to use, but hey, I got a lot of them for Christmas last year, so I'm using the most of it. Just look at that. So expensive all over my face. All right, and just to be safe, I'm gonna put some color correctors over my eyebrows too because my hair is dark. All right, I'm gonna blend this down. And I'll be back and start doing my foundation. <laughs> All right, time to put foundation on now. I'm gonna be using my KVD and a beauty blender and just get this whole face covered as quick as possible. So we can move on to some fun stuff. The reason I do a lot of stuff off camera is because I want this video to be like two hours long, girl. Doing drag makeup takes up a lot of time. And we're all trying to sit here all day. Already my foundation is all caked on. I'm gonna use some setting powder with some Cody Airspun and just use that to set the makeup. Let's start doing some fun stuff. Let's start the contours. You might have just saw this in my painting a mannequin head. I'm using the same thing I used on that on my own face. It is the HD Pro Revolution Contour Palette. I got this for free. And once I've got a good one built up here with these two colors, I dip in a little bit with this third one here and put that in the very, very corner right here. All right, and do the same to the other side. Guess who I look like? All right, we're back. I am going to do the Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar To Go. This is in the shade Medium to Ebony. So I'm gonna be dipping into this one and starting out my eyebrows. Using a Morphe M165 brush, I'm gonna start my eyebrows. Use code James at Morphe.com and save nothing on your order. But you could use my code James, J-A-Y-M-E-S, at Gerard Cosmetics and get 30% off. For brow products, I usually use my Anastasia, but I've been using this one now and I actually really like it. But I usually wear like a lot of light hair, so it actually gives me like a Madonna effect, like Madonna in the 90s. Now we play the game of Will, Will It Match. Every time you do your eyebrows, who else has this issue? I play this game every single time I do a brow. It could be like that hip hat video where like my eyebrows all the way in space and the other ones like down here hanging out with the saw. All right, we're good enough. Just a little bit there. Let's go in with the second color and deepen up those ends. <laughs> Darn eyebrow, Shay. Okay, so we're gonna start putting little hairs on here. I'm using the Wet n Wild eyeliner and I found out what the little springy in there is for. It's a pump. So get more product than that and start adding brow hairs. We can start our eyeshadow. Use a little flat head brush like this. I'm gonna use a little bit of my contour color, the lightest one. I'm using this one, which I think is technically a bronzer in here, but there's no shimmer to it. So it's fine to use as a contour. Let's start up my nose. And we're gonna work that up on the eyebrow to create our crease. And also add a bit more of a dimension there. So it's like, you know, my bone structure is super defined. And I have the eye of a supermodel, or more so than I already do. And then when I get to like right here, I angle it like, whoop, shoot. That way it makes my face more like snatched in and narrow. Cause I got me a wide face, y'all. All right, you probably can't see that much on camera cause it's very, very faint. I like that. Cause it's basically like my blueprint. It's the pink print. Okay. And we're going with our deeper one and we're not gonna do the nose with this color. We're just gonna start with the eyebrows and start patting that on to create our crease. And it's all building up. It's like making boob contour in your eye. You should see a faint start of a crease forming here. I'm giving you the illusion of good bone structure. All right, now we can start with our colors. <laughs> I'm actually gonna use something out of the Alexa Stone palette. Let's do, I haven't done green in a while. Let's do green. Yeah, we're gonna do green. Why the hell not? Use that. 
so this like foresty green. In fact, in the 1950s, beauty magazines often recommended that ladies with blonde hair should use turquoise, aqua, or forest green eyeshadow to complement their hair. Same thing went for ladies with red hair. All right, before I go Fallout City, let me use some airspun and put that underneath my cheeks. Now our lungs have been seized by Cody powder. Let's go back to our eyeshadow. All right, time for ColourPop! Concealer and start cutting our crease. All right, what I've been trying to do now with my creases is have a little more directionality or at least attention to where my directions are going because I usually just do like a big old whoop, round swoop, and it doesn't really do much to my face except make it look wider. So what I'm doing is now I take it, I bring it up, and then I angle it like going inward like that, like bring it down. So that creates more of like a different shaped crease than just following what's there and making my eye look gigantic. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now I take my finger and I'm gonna dab that here at the end to kind of soften it up. That way it's not like a harshness there. It creates more of a soft gradient. All right, taking some taco and I take some of that on a brush and set this crease. And try and stay inside that designated area because if you get a little outside, it's gonna be a mess. All right, let's do our eyeliner. Now, I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild eyeliner because I ran out of the House Labs one and that's just the way it is. So, I'm gonna take that, pump it. All right, let's get a good grip on ourselves and get going. All right, and then we're gonna play our second round of Will, Will it, it match, match with our other side right now. I don't know about you, but I am feeling really beautiful right now. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna take some black. Beat the devil out of it, like Bob Ross to say. All right, take our black. Yes, okay, other side. And y'all get on doing here, I'll be back soon. <laughs> All right, time to do our next step. I'm gonna use some Diamond Sharps by Kimchi Chic. And why, you may ask? Cause I paid for it, so I'm gonna use this so it's gone. And I don't know about you, but I'm just living for all these drag queens coming out with their own cosmetic lines. Girl. So I put powder down here, I'm gonna brush that away. All right, I'm gonna refresh my contour quick before I move on to other stuff. All right, highlight time. Same palette, using my banana in there. I almost hit and pan with it. I'm gonna do my base. Before I go in with blush and bronzers. And this is where it gets kind of nice because if you are a little dodgy about your eyebrow situation in the middle, I always use a little more highlight here and that kind of softens it up. It makes it look more ombre. Right, and y'all see me use this. I know it looks crazy, but I swear it works. I learned this from Gluttony Sin, the little painter <laughs> sponge. And by using this, I don't have to use the tapes on my face anymore because when I was using the duct tape, it was taken off my foundation and you would see like lines in my face that are not flattering near the end of the night after I'd sweat off half my makeup. All right, second layer of highlight using the Cody powder. and just build on top of that. All right, doing my highlight on my nose, using my concealer and being very careful about it. All right, clean finger and blend that out. Let us go in with, oh, nostrils. I always forget to do this part, but that's my favorite thing. There we go, nostrils of a supermodel. Okay. Let us do our cheeks now. Actually, let me do my under eyes before I do that. I'm going with the tiniest bit of that green. And y'all know me, I like to have a vampy cat eye. So this is just gonna be the green that fades out to tie it with the top. I'm going with my black, black on top of that and mix it in with the green to the tiniest bit. And I stopped using the white crayon on my eyes because I've been getting a lot of transfer. And I actually have been liking the way it looks without it. All right, I'm keeping the residue on that because I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner again. And with that leftover black on that brush, we're gonna go and smoke it out. 
All right, now we just brush that away and we'll do our next stuff. Cause now I'm gonna start blush and bronzer. And I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics Starstruck palette. Gonna do the blush first. All right, so I grabbed the wrong palette at first, so I wanted to use the blush. So I'm using this one, the Honeymoon palette and adding a deeper blush to my cheeks. Girl, sometimes I have is we grab the wrong thing, we make it work. And I've already fixed it. See, that's drag. All right, got a good strong blush going. All right, I'll start blending. Start with the forehead. Now, I've never really used bronzer before, so I'm gonna try it out. Now, from what I researched, bronzers are just supposed to warm you up, so let's try it. Do the forehead. Oh, yeah, I see that. Okay, I see why people use this now. There we go, she's warmed up. I'm not gonna go too far into my corners because my wig's gonna cover all that. All right, we're gonna do the highlight on the brow right now. I'm using the ColourPop again and a little bit on a brush. Tiny bit, not a whole lot. I want to be extra, so I'm gonna take some hairspray and spray it on up to the brush. And use Marshmallow from Trixie Cosmetics. Somebody in my comment section recommended this. I'm just surprised it's actually working. Who needs glitter glue, girl? I got hairspray. All right, we're almost done. Time for lips. I am using Red Brick Road by Gerard. I've already sharpened it. I'm using this a lot. Just okay. Got our lips lined. Looking pretty good. Gonna go in with Fire Engine now by Gerard Cosmetics. Look at that gold tube. Yeah, we'll go over that and give us that Selena brick red lip. All right, we are almost done. That is my brick red lip. I'm ready for the Man in Apartment 512. Let us take our eyelashes. I took some 301s and I cut them up and I put the long strips at the end that I cut off in the middle to give you more of like a spiky, spidery lash. Because sometimes my eyelashes just be too heavy and I just need to have something like lightweight on my eyes, especially when doing a video. If this were a club, it'd be a different story. And since it's just you and me, I'm using the duo. If I was at a nightclub, I'd be busting this guy out. Make sure they stay on. I'm probably gonna go on TikTok and film some lip sync videos. Follow me on TikTok, James Mansfield. Give us some long eyelashes and a beat mug. I'm like Gloria Trevi. All right, it's starting to turn that real fierce violet shade. That's how you know it's ready. Just gonna take that and apply that to my eyelash. And if you're wondering how I got them real spiky like that, I just took hairspray and sprayed it. Like my regular hairspray, the Tresemme one. I know some of us are of the school of uh, put mascara on first, put mascara on last. I don't really see the difference either way. So I'm gonna put it on last this time. If I remember to do it first, that's just what happens. It's wherever the night takes me to blend them together, not all the way up, because these are already caked up with hairspray. They don't need any more. Our look is done. I just have to put on my wig and I'll be right back. <laughs> Jane Spansill made a video doing her makeup. However, when she made the video, she forgot to do her Venn moment. Before we get into the tea, please don't send any hate to Jane Spansill, Gerard Cosmetics, or anyone else involved in this controversy. So what's the big issue? When Jane's Mansell forgets to do her Venn moment, she neglects her fans. Jane's Mansell obviously hates her fans and always forgets on purpose just to parody Spill. The names she should have said were just Russ and Teddy. That's it. Two names. She couldn't even do that. James Mansell is a bad person. Hey, knock it off. Welcome back. This is the final result. Now, I would have worn nails, but girl, my nail glue completely quit on me. I sealed it up from the last time and it's completely sealed forever so we're doing bare hands today Ooh, glamour and bare now I just have to make sure this makeup stays on because I'm gonna do some TikTok later so I'm gonna use my Gerard cosmetic setting spray ah. now my face is sure to stay on now this look is just missing literally one more thing the James Mansfield magical wig spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab let's just give this wig a spritz Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. Like my hair, it is my Mansfield Blonde. And this is the alternate version of the princess style. I was experimenting and did like a nice little victory roll here. And if you'd like to purchase one of my wigs, be sure and hit the links down below at jamesmansfieldbeauty.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code Mansfield20 and save 20% off your purchase. Mansfield20. Plus free shipping. Now, I hope you all liked this look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Ooh, bye. Click here and see me paint a cheap wig shop mannequin head. Or see me style a Dolly Parton goof-proof wig from the 90s. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll book your next vacation at Cabot Cove, Maine.
America's most dangerous city. So click it.